Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we're coming towards the end of the spreadsheets playlist. Okay, and we are now looking at lesson 19. And this is called Not If. So please check out all of the previous videos where we've looked at all of these activities. So now we're going to be looking at lesson 19. And it looks something like this. So what we have here is um, some student IDs. One is missing. Okay, so what we don't want to do is make a mistake. So if I type in here equals VLOOKUP, uh, we're looking up, so this student ID here, in this table array, let me lock it, and the column index is going to be 2, exact match, since the code matches up. The first one's worked, we've got Abby, 800123, refers to Abby, but then what we don't want is this NA message. So sometimes in exam papers, questions, they may ask you to do a lookup, but avoid um, returning an error message. So what we can do is, in this example, I'm going to do an if statement. So equals if. And we're going to check if this cell is not blank. So if it's not blank, then what we'll do if it's true, we're going to do a VLOOKUP. So if it's not blank, which is not, uh, so this is not blank, this has got content in, so we're going to do the VLOOKUP, we're going to look up the ID, we're going to look up this table array here, so the names are in the second column, comma, the column index is going to be two, exact match. Let's close the bracket and Go to comma. So we've got a logical test here. It's checking to see if this is not blank. And if it's not blank, we can do the VLOOKUP. However, if it was blank, so the case of the second cell, then what we can do is we can return um, speech marks. So an empty space can be shown, empty cell can be shown instead. Let's close the bracket, press enter, drag it down, and it's working. Right, for the next examples, uh, key stage, so what we have is we're going to be looking up this column. So if you're in year 7, 8, and 9, you're in key stage 3. If you're in year 10 or 11, you're going to be key stage 4. If you're in year 12 or year 13, you will be in key stage 5. The problem we have here is, A, this is missing, so that's the first problem. And the second problem is some of these uh, cells are incomplete. So for Abby, we don't have any data here. So again, we don't want to return an error message. So what we're going to do is, it's going to be quite complex actually, but let me show you. We're going to, first of all, check if this is not empty. So equals if, do it up here. So if this cell here is not empty, then we're going to do um, another if statement. So for the true section, we're going to have an if statement Okay, and um, what we're going to be checking is if the results of the VLOOKUP is equals to a blank space, then we would want to return a blank space. And if that's not true, then we can do the VLOOKUP. Okay, so this is dependent on the cell not being empty, first of all. So if this obviously isn't empty, so we're going to go ahead and do this part. So now what we want to do is if the results of the VLOOKUP is not empty, or oh sorry, if it is empty, let's return an empty space, and if it's not empty, let's do the VLOOKUP. Hopefully it'll make sense in a moment. So I want to do this uh, VLOOKUP. Go to here now, click on this. Um, we're looking up this value here, comma, Key stage three is in the last column, so one, two, three, four, five, go all the way across. Let's lock this, comma, the column index is going to be five, comma, exact match. So what we're checking in this logical test, if the output here is blank, so we do the VLOOKUP, and it's blank, okay, so obviously student ID um, A00123 has a lookup value, so we can match up to this. 
But when we come to the fifth column, it's blank. What we don't want is an error message. So I'm going to say this equals to a blank space. And if that's true, return a blank space. But if it's not true, do the VLOOKUP. So what we can do is copy this again and place this into here. Okay. And let's close the bracket. So this is the if statement for the true section only. Let's close the bracket. And we've come back to the main if statement. So what if the cell was blank? Okay, we just do that two speech marks. Close the bracket, press enter, and job done. So let me just drag this down, see if we have any data. Okay, so the only data that we have is for James. So C00769. Okay, and James is in key stage four. Um, what we can do is, let me just type in here, um, key stage five. And Abby's in year 12. There we go. So you see it's working now. So basically what we did, um, we did an if statement first of all to check if this is not empty. Okay, if it's not empty, then we, we had an if statement for the true statement, okay, which checked if the contents of the view lookup was equal to a blank space. If it was true, we returned a blank space. If it wasn't true, we just did a view lookup. Okay. But if the student ID in the first place is blank, then for the false, we have returned um, a blank space. So I'm hoping this is making sense. Um, let's do it again for the year. And hopefully by the end of this video, it'll all make sense. So equals if, let's check if this cell is not blank. So if this is not blank, then let's go ahead and do an if statement to check if the um, output of the VLOOKUP is going to be equal to a blank. If it is, let's return a blank space. And if not, return the VLOOKUP. So the year is going to be in this column here. So if the VLOOKUP, so you're looking up this ID, in this table array, go to the fourth column now. One, two, three, four, yeah. If this VLOOKUP is equal to a blank space, there's no outputs here, or here, or here. Then, if it's true, return an empty space. And if it's not true, run the VLOOKUP. Okay, close the brackets to get back to the original if statement. So if the cell is not blank, we do do all of this. But if it was blank, there's no ID here. Then rather than an error message, just return um, the speech marks like this. Let me drag this down. Okay, so obviously we've got the blank cell there. And then for E00123, you can see there's no year here. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense. So this is probably as complex as it gets if you're doing ICT, IGCC. Um, hopefully, you know, it does make sense what we're doing, why we're using if statements. So we have one main if statement. And then for the true part, we have another if statement with a true and a false. And obviously, if the cell is blank, there's no nothing to look up. We want to return um, just a blank space instead of an error message. If you wanted to, you can say something like this, no lookup ID. Okay, so in this case, there's no lookup ID. So this is what was outputted. Um, maybe here we can say if the VLOOKUP is empty or equal to an empty space, maybe we could say no output. Yeah, so no output. So it's, it's obviously referring to this now. Right, guys, thank you for your time. Uh, please like and share. Drop your comments below. And please uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye-bye.